Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while. So if you're still here, thank you very much for sticking with me. Thank you for subscribing, watching my videos, also liking and commenting. I appreciate every one of you. It means the world to me that you are still here. So if you've seen my last videos, you know that we are in the process of finishing, hopefully, our renovation of uh, the house so we will move soon from this place and before I do a full decluttering of everything I own like all my makeup collection my clothes my dresses everything I don't want to bring there anything that I don't use anymore so I thought I would do a full makeup collection uh, of all the things I own. I want to start with a disclaimer because everything I have it's bought over the years. Since I was a makeup artist in the past because in the last two years really I haven't had many clients. The events were um, let's say <laughs> almost non-existent so um, most of the makeup I used was for me and all the new stuff I got was because I was also a blogger. I received some PR kits from companies as a gift so that's why I have a lot of stuff. That being said, let's get started. So here I am in the mirror. Hello! This is my vanity. Here is my working station. Here are my lamps. The one just... Uh, broke i'm looking for another lamp to replace here the neon is broken so we are going to focus on this area and also the majority of my makeup collection is here but i also have a lot of lipsticks and this little vanity right here because this is the furniture that you see behind all my videos so yeah i don't know if i'm going to keep this vanity or I'm going to put it um, like in the foyer somewhere just for decor because I don't have space for for this I have in total like three vanity tables so yeah I'm going to find a nice place for this one but my main table which has enough space it's this one right here please ignore all the stuff right there I'm going to tell you about that also so I don't know from where to start but I think I'm going to start from left to right because here I've got all my makeup brushes that I collected over the years let me tell you I always always clean them because I've got cats and these are the brushes I use only for myself I also have other brushes that I used only on my clients and I will show you those after I get there but these are all clean I don't like to keep dirty brushes here when I'm using some brushes I usually place them here like I have these and these are going to be washed soon I only use them once or twice but I can't use them anymore I don't like to use dirty brushes so that's why i have so many as you see i've got a ton most of them are bought but i also received a lot and i don't really care about huge brands for makeup brushes i've tested a lot of brands like high-end luxury i've tested aliexpress quality and so I know all of them. So from my experience, I can tell you that the best face brushes are the natural bristles ones. Because the products apply very, very nicely with these. But I also like my synthetic ones. But yeah, for foundation, of course, I prefer the synthetic ones uh, when I'm not using a beauty blender. So usually... 
I have them separated like blending brushes, flat brushes, eyeliner brushes. Since all my space is filled up right now, I got a lot of brushes from Bailey Brushes. I don't know if you know this brand, but it's from AliExpress. Maybe you can find it on um, other sites as well, but these are top quality brushes and I'm not joking. Um, they got like different sets uh, from uh, beginners to pro. So here I have a mix. They're different colors and the pro ones are here. Let me show you and tell you what are what I'm talking about. So they are very detailed. Most of all are um, gold hair uh, bristles. So they collect, they brush the coats, they collect all the hair so uh, no animal is killed uh, during these brushes. And these bristles you can easily, easily clear. Even the ones for this, the face, you don't really, uh, they don't really stain. But I take care of them. So, as you see, there are different shapes and forms. And also, I love that they have detailing brushes like these. So, I can really do a um, very specific and also a perfect makeup look. Just look. They're so tiny and perfect. So yeah, I love these. I think they're my favorite because they're so accessible and also very good quality. But I also got MAC, I also got Sigma, I got, I don't know, Real Techniques, NARS, got a lot of uh, brands. Do Color is another brand that I love. These are do color. Also, um, they've got a website, but I think you can find them on AliExpress also. So, here is just a little soap for decor. Here I've got some eyeliners. Most of all are from Sephora, uh, NYC, um, Laura Mercier. I've got a few, but I really have to declutter these because some of them are old um, but most of them here are colored because I really uh, love the colored ones but if you go to Sephora and you really want to try some colorful eyeliners I highly recommend these because they're gorgeous they're very easy to use you can put your finger here and just trace the line it's super super easy to use and they've got a lot of colors uh, this is brand new still haven't opened it I think you can still find these at Sephora but if you want some more high-end ones then these from makeup forever are also good so here it's a little bit of mess I recycled a Christmas gift so this was a gift from a cosmetic set so I used it for all of my mascaras which I highly highly need to declutter because there are just too many I also got a lot of colorful ones I don't really have only black ones or, or brown ones here is another tester I haven't opened yet but yeah I've got a ton there are different brands so as you can see here I've got Too Faced um, L'Oreal, Pupa, which I love, Maybelline, Sephora, they're amazing. These Sephora ones, I love them, but also Pupa, that's an Italian brand. It's very good, the body shop, also I love this. So yeah, I've got different brands for from top to bottom, so yeah. Also this one is very good, it's a Korean brand, it's called Cool for School. You can find this at Sephora. And here I've got this little thing from Ikea. So it fits all of my pencils. So I've got here also my lip and my eye pencils. Some of them are brand new. As you can see all these Kat Von D ones are brand new. Still haven't used them yet. But I also have some big crayons like 
these ones. I use them mostly for like uh, having a base for my uh, makeup. So I've got from Lancome, uh, I think this is Shuemura, Urban Decay, Marc Jacobs. So yeah, Pupa. I have a lot of Pupa pencils because they're amazing. Uh, I have all different colors. Honestly, I love them. Uh, yeah, I have a lot, a lot of stuff. Next, here I have a uh, Dermacol. This is a lifting cream, but still haven't opened it yet. Here I have some skincare products because if I start my makeup here, uh, I like to have some of my prepping stuff here to, I don't want to go to my bedroom to uh, choose from there, I want to have everything here. So I usually have um, a serum, this is from Pupa, I really love it. The, here I have some boosters, um, here I have the Farsali Essence which I really love and it's almost done. And another product which I love and it's super cheap and you can buy it in the US and also they ship to Europe uh, where I live so this is amazing under makeup amazing it's a silicone free priming moisturizer so this is good it's airless it's in an airless container it's amazing for oily skin like I have but it's also good for dry skin so if you really want a moisturizer that won't be heavy on your skin i highly highly recommend this here i've got some glosses i'm not really a huge fan of glosses but i like these ones these are dupes clarence and note cosmetics um but i also got a fenty one here also others i don't really use them often so let's move on to this drawer right here here i have a lot of pupa stuff which I got and I kind of used but I don't use all the time because they're all with glitter and I can only use this at Christmas so yeah this is a what sparkling effect gel face and body so as you can see I don't really use them all the time but they're really pretty you can't find these anymore they're like for collectors these are um, eyeliners, but with glitter. One I think is for, ah, yeah. One is mascara and the other one is eyeliner. And the other ones are all lipsticks. They're brand new. So here I've got my concealers. Here I have a small space. I don't know why it was designed like this, but Let's move on. So here I've got all of my concealers. I recycled two of these. Um, I think they were, of, yeah, Ferrero Rocher boxes. Uh, they're acrylic, they're sturdy, so I use them for storing my concealers. I've got um, also different brands from um, drugstore to high-end. Here I have some Vrea Cosmetics, which I love, Maybelline, Pupa, LA Girl, another one I love, I love this one, but it's almost over, it's the Maybelline Fit Me, it's amazing, amazing. This is the Boo Boo Cover Up Concealer, it's very, very heavy, but it's if you want to camouflage something. Estee Lauder other Maybellines, some extras because I really love them, uh, other Maybelline concealers, Super Stay, these are full coverage. And here I've got some other drugstore brands, Pupa and other stuff. And here I've got some makeup palettes, I've got all the little ones because I didn't knew where to store them so here I've got the naked ones from Urban Decay it's the naked one the basics and naked two which I really love and I used a lot but 
even though it's not perfect for my hair color um, the naked basic 2 it's better I really love this one more here I have some other small brands I've got Shomura I've got a pretty nurse one which I don't really use I only use it from time to time as you can see it's pretty so also some body shop uh, some body shop palettes these were all Christmas editions and the Too Faced ones which are my favorite every Too Faced palette is amazing like this highlighting color it's perfect it's a matte nude with some golden glitter it's just gorgeous it's perfect perfect for highlighting under the brow so yeah I really like these small palettes from them because they're gorgeous and very good quality and here in the next drawer I've got all the monos and some small palettes uh, here are all the pupa ones here I've got some MAC monos which I haven't used yet um, some extra the body shop ones as you can see they come like singles like so brand new Catrice I really love Catrice if you I don't know if they are in the US but they are definitely in Europe and I love them so yeah Catrice is amazing these are Mariano it's a makeup store from Europe I really have to declutter all of these here is Catrice one what I've got here 17 does this brand still exist I don't know but it's good still good uh, Melchior a French brand I've got some Lancome a uh, MAC one this was my first first eyeshadow from MAC <laughs> and I've got it in blue but I used it a couple of times and gorgeous next I've got here some I really don't know ah, a Chanel one uh, I think it's a mono then I've got this gorgeous Charlotte Tilbury this is perfect perfect for my skin tone and for my hairline and a very nice Dolce & Gabbana duo look still new love it I haven't used it yet because it's just too pretty it's like a collector things don't don't ask and the rest is Pupa and some other stuff I've got here some sprays some Evian Jean Zac which I love oh I forgot to tell you about these so I keep all of my blenders here in this bonbon jar because my cat Lily loves to smash these my cat likes to play with all just look my cat loves to play with all of these blenders so I can't really leave them because she will steal and play with them here I've got all the primers I've got eye primer, lip primer, glitter fixer, you name it, <laughs> matte uh, transforming stuff, uh, pigment fixer, everything, you name it, I've got it right here. And they're all mixed brand like Sephora, Pupa, The Body Shop, Makeup Forever, Beauty UK, what else, Makeup Factory, uh, I think this is Lorac, yeah. I've got a lot so next here I have all these acrylic organizers I thought they were pretty um, I don't really know about this anymore <laughs> so here I've got my eyeliners I really like the Too Faced one so I think this eyeliner is the best of everything I have ever tried um, in the past I thought the Kat Von D one was my favorite one, the tattoo liner, but you can't really build it. 
so um, it dries out really fast that's why I think the Too Faced one is the best ever. I've got some other brands too. Iris Beauty, The Body Shop, Pupa and other stuff. But that is the best. So here I have some mini Givenchy lipstick. This is the small version and this is the big one. It's just a red one. But it's like a balm it's not really a lipstick so here i got all of my brow stuff i've got some powder ones um some lipstick some gel tattoo tattoo liner from maybelline this is a uh, very interesting stuff i think my brow gel from etude house this is from a korean brand very famous online yeah and it's a, it's an interesting product so here i have other brow gels so this one from pixie some lipsticks which i love this one from l'oreal and balmain is interesting but i can't really use it alone because just look at the color it you don't really look alive you're more livid than alive so I can't really use it by itself. I have to mix it with other lipsticks to match. Here are my favorite MAC lipsticks, Mid and Blankety. And here I've got only, only brow products. So I got a Milani one, Anastasia one, but this is only one, it's the chocolate. Uh, these dry out very very quickly as you can see so i always use a thinner to to use them uh next i've got some brow sculpt from maybelline i think i haven't tried it yet before um this is a gel primer from benefit i really like those brow products from benefit this is a korean or i don't know where i got this one some brow gel Pencils. Uh, this one from L'Oreal. It's too big. I don't like. Honestly, who can use this as a brow pencil? I I don't know how they taught it. An Italian brand, Gabriella Salvette. This is a NYX gel, eyebrow gel. But honestly, doesn't really do much. And this is my favorite in the last months. It's amazing. It's the Brow Ultra Slim Pencil from Maybelline. It's the best I've tried in the past months, years. <laughs> it's fantastic, fantastic product. But if you like more high-end stuff, then you can try this from Anastasia or Benefit. This one from Benefit is also interesting. I don't know if it's still available, but you get two colors and two highlighting colors. So it's really interesting, <laughs> like a high school pen. So yeah, from Kiko, a brow marker, a brow marker. This one is from Pupa. I haven't even opened it yet. Let's move on. So here I've got some Anastasia lipsticks which I haven't used in a while, honestly. <laughs> but um, I made here um, some mixes, which I wanted to try. I made this little card here just to know all the colors. And also here I mixed uh, some of the lipsticks and I written down how they look. Yeah, don't ask. So here I've got another uh, drawer full of lipsticks if you like some creamy matte lipsticks then these one from the body shop are amazing they last um, long but they're also very nice on the lips they're very creamy also um, like this one like make makeup forever this one's also good uh, i don't really use these anymore but i just keep them because these were like from years ago i've got them on ebay i think when all this liquid lipstick craziness started 
And here I've got from Gerard Cosmetics uh, their lipsticks. They're amazing, stunning. I love them. They're very, very nice. And here, also from Gerard uh, and the Body Shop. Here, on the other way, I've got something that will never expire because they're just pigments and glitters so i think they look nice like so arranged in a nice drawer but they're not all i've got a ton left so yeah these are some max samples which i got too bad that the store closed it co it was called the body needs from the us and they sold like these little sam mac pigment sam samples they were very nice here I've got other like cream shadows, pigments, yeah, I think I need to throw this out <laughs> because I haven't used them in a while and just look, they're coming out. Yeah, definitely need to toss these. So I won't toss this in because they're amazing, they're the NARS monos which i love and use their magnetic you can stack them up like this they're stunning just look at them stunning so i really like these but i haven't used them in a while i forgot about them so let's move on to the next levels here so here i've got all of my foundations it's a deep drawer as you see but I really have a lot, a lot of foundations. But for my excuse, here I have all of my foundations that I use for me and also for my clients. So I've got some luxury brands like this one from Shantekai. I've got some Bare Minerals, which I like. Then I've got some MAC foundations, some Studio Fix. Then I've got some colors from this super stay from Maybelline which also I love some foundation samples from Givenchy this one is amazing amazing but it's not as top as Capture Total from Dior this one is the best also this one is a sample so I've got some Kat Von D Elizabeth Arden I've got some L'Oreal, some NYX, this one from NYX is called Total Control and I've got two colors, it's water based, very lightweight, but one is too light and the other one is darker for me, so I always mix them. Then I've got this magic foundation from Charlotte Tilbury but it's almost gone so i have to use it up just to toss the bottle um next i have some korean ones i love this one from misha it's the perfect cover bb cream but unfortunately i ordered the light version so i always have to mix it and i love to mix it with this estee lauder double wear nude foundation so this one is super light it's it doesn't compare to the <laughs> to the other double wear that you know this one is super light but on the other hand this one from maybelline it's called super stay active wear it's very heavy so you have to be um very well hydrated or you need to prime your skin perfectly because it's super heavy full coverage um next some note cosmetics which is almost gone some dermacol which i used only from time to time if i have to cover something next i have some sticks from fenty beauty they're okay but I love this foundation from Maybelline, fit me, but I also mix it because this color is too dark for me, but I always mix it with something lighter. And I've got some Anastasia Beverly Hills, 
this one is their stick foundation it's okay but I like to mix it with something liquidy also and some pupa this is their natural line so they've got only uh, natural ingredients for for this foundation so yeah I've got a lot of foundations next I've got this base here which I didn't knew how to use it so I got this container from Ikea also it's super spacious and I've organized it like so here I've got primers highlighters color correctors like this one is from radiant cosmetics I don't know if you can find it in the US but yeah I've got some boysenberries I don't even know which one I've got here but yeah professional some are new some are used this one is amazing I love everything from Too Faced they're amazing so I've got some Clinique, Pupa, Benefit, Misha, Temp2, yeah. I've got a lot, as you can see, from high-end to drugstore. And here are all my highlighters. Some sleek makeup, NARS, Makeup Revolution, I don't know which one is this, Liquid Glow. Trifold Cosmetics. I don't know if it's still on the market. Paula's Choice. I love this one. It's the Resist Smoothing Primer Serum. Some Makeup Forever Ultra HD Soft Light. Then I've got the Becca Primer, which I'm so sorry they closed their business because I really love their product. Next, some Pupa because you know I love Pupa. Here I've got some other highlighters from the Body Shop, L'Oreal, Pupa, which one is this, NYX, yeah, so I've got some different brands here, and here I have all my big palettes for bronzing, got here some glitter bombs from Pupa, then I've got a palette from Fenty, which didn't fit other way and I don't know if you saw these but I love them so this one is from Douglas but it's a chameleon eyeshadow Douglas is like a Sephora but from Germany so this one is amazing and I'm so sorry that these are not available anymore they're from Topshop someone bought it for me from London but just look at them they're chameleon eyeshadows amazing I love them oh, here I got some other mono shadows which I don't really use next I've got highlighters this one from the body shop is pretty nice honestly when mixed Another one I love from Milani. They got some really good products. Which contour stick from Benefit. Uh, bronzing palette from Pupa. I told you their products are their products are amazing. Nurse Cat Von D. I don't know if this is still available, but just look at them. They're so pretty. This one is bluish, purplish, greenish, pinkish. Holographic palette. Next, some color correcting palette from Sephora, which I don't really use. As you see, I don't really use these. Makeup Forever palette. I love it. Super pretty. Sleek makeup. I just need to clean all of these because they're just too many this palette from Hourglass is amazing 
so so subtle it's gorgeous on the skin it's gorgeous it was a good investment pupa makeup revolution what do i have here nyx other from pupa and a highlighter from anastasia which i don't think it needs another presentation because it's amazing but since they're made in the same factory with pupa you can see that I got some dupes. I don't know if they are still available, but even the shape it's amazing and almost the same as you can see. So, of course the formula it's the same, it's just uh, the tones that differ a little. So, yeah. And I've got some new pupa shadows another palette from the body shop i love their products they're really cool and the palette from your blush one gorgeous another one from dior it's this stunning powder it was a special edition for christmas and it's gorgeous you can use it on um, your chest it looks amazing also as a highlighting powder it's called Diorific Precious Rocks. I don't know if it's still available, but it's amazing. And I forgot to show you my new favorite powder. This one is from Too Faced. It's called Prime and Poreless. It's got a cute applicator in a heart shape. It's gorgeous, but let me tell you, this one looks amazing on the skin. It's so subtle but it mattifies everything and even if it looks white on the face it looks translucent so it's just um, like a fixer for your foundation that's why I love it so in the last drawer I've got my powders my contour powders highlighters blushing powders everything like this I don't know where to start. I got here a contour... No, it's a blush stick from Sephora, a creamy one. Another one which is in cream from the body shop. I've got some... Note Cosmetics blush. Um, Pupa, this one is amazing. Another powder. Note Cosmetics. Um, the HD powder from Makeup Forever, um, Max Factor, Sephora, another one from Pupa, and let me fix this here, like so. Another amazing product from Topshop. Look, a gorgeous, gorgeous highlighting powder. So sad they don't sell these anymore because they're just so unique and stunning. And chameleon, of course. So, Melchior, I got here some other Pupa. And this one is also a highlighting powder from Topshop, I think. I've kept the box, but I don't know if I should. Ah, no, it's uh, just, I mean, it says highlighter, but it's not for me, so I use it as a bronzer mostly, but it's so gorgeous, their quality is amazing, I don't know where they're made, oh, in Italy, of course, so they are, they are made in the same factory as all their, all the luxury brands, look at this, it's a piece of art, from Too Faced. Look, I haven't really used it. I think I used it only once because do I have to say why? It's just so gorgeous. It's, a, it's like a collector's piece. So this one is a huge product from Note Cosmetics. Just look, it's a bronzing powder. Next, some Gerard Cosmetics, Becca Cosmetics, which I love. The Opal 
highlighter. This one is from Gerard, but it's also very, very nice. And I love the packaging that it's very sturdy and very elegant. Next, I've got also some Pupa, Melchior, other Pupa stuff. Next, I've got some Hourglass. Oh, I forgot to show you this by Terry blush, which I love. But I think I had another one. I don't know what happened to it. It's just gorgeous. All of the by Terry products are so pretty. So I don't know what's this one from Hourglass because I forgot about this. This one is a blush. Another pretty blush. So pretty also. Yeah, Makeup Factory, other Pupa products which I love. I've got a lot of Pupa products. These highlighters from Sephora are also pretty. Also the texture reminds me of the Anastasia one because as I've told you they are made in the same factory. So next I've got a classic, it's the Mary Luminizer from the Balm. If you haven't tried this one you're missing out. Next I've got some other Balm products, some Tarte mini Tarte powder, some contour stuff from Benefit which I don't really use but for my fair skin this one is the best. It's the Hula Light. And this one, let me tell you, it's the best powder I have ever tried. It's like the smoothest, most perfect, luxurious powder. It's the Le Voilettes from Guerlain. I only have a sample from this, but it's amazing. You will feel like a princess. Also, the smell is gorgeous and your skin looks flawless. Next, I have here in the vanity two boxes from Ikea, which I got. They're just normal organizers and my cat just went inside, so don't mind her. And here I've got all my palettes, like all of them. But I also got a huge pile of cream eyeshadows which I really like because I use these as a base. These are from Stella. These ones are the Dior ones which I love. They're amazing for a base. Makeup Forever Aqua XL also. It's gorgeous for long lasting base. Just look at these Stella ones. They're the bomb. They're amazing. Also from Pupa. They're just liquid eyeshadows, but they make your makeup look amazing. All the shadows pop. So yeah, here I've got all of them. Next I got some um, Chanel samples, which um, I don't really use. But let me tell you, if you don't buy these luxury uh Makeup eyeshadows you don't really miss out because yeah, the colors are great, but the quality you can find some more affordable um, Eyeshadows also other Chanel samples eyeshadow sh samples and some pigments pigments and glitters They don't really have like brands. I just bought them where I found them so yeah, I don't really use them because I don't really use like glitters anymore on my eyes. Let's move on to the palettes. Let me tell you, these boxes are so heavy. So let's see what I've got here. So in the back here, I just got an empty magnetic palette. And here in the back, I've got some really old, like old palettes, but I just can't. I just can't throw them out because they just bring memories. Uh, it's from a brand called Fräulein. This is a very classic brand from Germany. Uh, I'm sure you remember these classic plastic palettes. Uh, I don't use them anymore, but yeah, I just keep them. 
So this one is from Morphe. I really wanted this because I remember Carly by Belle used it on a makeup look in a tutorial. So I really wanted it. I love the shadows for my um, hair and for my eyes. So yeah, they're pretty good. Another palette which I don't use but I can't throw out. It's from eBay, I think. And just look at them. <laughs> they're so glittery, so um, creamy and they've got a lot of colors. I just can't throw them out because I like to stare at them but I don't use them anymore. So it's just for like keeping them. Next I've got here some eyeshadow palettes and I believe all of these are from Makeup Geek. Yeah, they're all from Makeup Geek and I love them except the big ones. These are from Melchior because I didn't have space and the lower ones are from another smaller brand I forgot honestly from where I got them I don't want to to lie to you but these ones from the top are all from Makeup Geek and I really like them I know they reformulated all of these um, shadows and renamed a few but yeah the quality is very very good so here I've got another palette from, I don't know, I received it from an Instagram brand. It's called Focalure. I don't know if it still exists, but I can't throw it out because I just like how, how it looks. As you can see, I only sampled these two and the other ones are intact, but I don't... I don't really want to use it, I just like to keep it. So next I want to show you another amazing Italian brand. It's called Neve Cosmetics and this palette is called Duochrome. Let me show you how amazing this is. So their shadows are huge. Um, they're all mineral cosmetics as I remember. They've got mm, a lot of different colors, different textures. But I really wanted these duochrome ones because as you can see, they just shine differently. So uh, yeah, I'm really pleased with this palette. It's called the duochrome one. Next, I've got two palettes from Melchior. This one is like glued here. I don't know what happened. Yeah, I can't really turn them, but these big ones for sure are Melchior. Uh, these two are Inglot and these square ones, which are uh, pretty hurt, are from Catrice. So I've had some monos and I just took them out. The quality of these Catrice products and also the other ones is amazing. So if you are in Europe and you want to try them, they're amazing. So here are the Melchior ones. They're really accessible. Their quality is amazing. They're like highly professional. I, I really, really love them. All of these are very, very accessible products. Also, they've got uh, palettes. Uh, I know for sure you can find them in France, but I don't know where you can find them otherwhere else in Europe. So yeah, if you're interested, just Google search them. Next, I've got here uh, a huge, pretty, palette from Too Faced. I kept the box because it's just too pretty to toss it out. So this one is the natural last palette. Just look at it. It's so pretty. I don't know if it's still on sale but I love them. Also this this purple right here it's amazing also i love this green one they just complete each other they're so so pretty and pigmented also got a huge mirror right here so yeah you know i really like Too Faced products because they're amazingly good quality but also their look it's just like from a story so it's really pretty princessy like makeup products. That's why I love them. 
So here I've got some, let me see, the Body Shop. I don't really reach out to, it, to this palette, honestly, because I don't use this color. So maybe I can only use this. So yeah, that's why. But it's really cool that you can just pop these out and replace them with some other colors. So you've got a full palette. Next, I've got some Pupa palettes, which honestly, they're so good quality. And just look at them. They're very well thought. I love all the colors. They're gorgeous. Just look at these. So amazing. Look. Spicy nudes. Gorgeous. So here I've got some other Melchior products, which as you can see, I haven't really used yet, but they're pretty. What I've got here, a mini Sephora palette. Beauty UK, which I don't really use. Um, Kat Von D. Stunning palette. I love it. <laughs> I love it. These are my type of colors, but I don't really use them. Makeup Factory. This is a German brand. Also very very nice quality products so what I've got here Maybelline um yeah they've got some fallouts but if you use the cream eyeshadow under them they're okay to use so next I've got some the balm which I love Lorac I've got these two Lorac palettes they're gorgeous so pigmented I don't know if they're still for sale but yeah they're really pretty what's here Zoeva who I don't I haven't heard anything from Zoeva lately but this palette is pretty so pretty cargo cosmetics which oh my god I love this one I think they're still on the market but they're very very pigmented and they weren't very expensive so just let me show you this one gorgeous colors and they don't really have a huge fallout it cosmetics i like this palette so much very pretty boys and berries and two sephora palettes but I honestly don't really use them as you can see they're almost brand new Ooh, a perfect makeup brush I forgot about this one so yeah I don't know why I've used the black one but yeah the colors are are pretty I mean I like this one a lot but the other ones I don't really use. I don't know if they are still available, but yeah. So this is their brand. This one is one palette and this one is another one, but they got the same name. Mixology. Like so. This one is more like with, with, with cool tones. I have used this. Ooh. This one is pretty. A nude with glitter accents. So yeah. So this was box number one. Now box number two. I also got some other samples. These ones are Dior and hmm, Armani. And yeah, Dior but they're very pretty I haven't really used them and here I've got some other samples and monos which I don't really use honestly I've got some Catrice palettes mm, I don't know what's this and these pretty Dior contour powders 
which I like. They're so pretty. Oh, this one broke. So sad. That's not a good news. So let's start from here. I've got a lot of Too Faced palettes here. So this one is the chocolate gold one. I love this one. And it also smells amazing. And the colors are just top. I can't say anything bad of this because I love it. And it smells like actual chocolate. The other chocolate I've the other chocolate palette I've got it's called chocolate bonbons. Another gorgeous one. I don't think I would buy it again because I just got so many browns in my collection as you've seen and like every palette has some nude, browns, gold shadows and I'm just over it. That's why I don't really buy palettes anymore. Another one from Too Faced is Gingerbread Spice and I love their packaging. It's in this metal case. Just look at this. I haven't really used it much, but just look at it. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous and also smells like gingerbread. Another one from Too Faced, it's called Born This Way. This one is from Cardboard, but it still looks good. I have used this, but if you like need just one palette for day-to-day -day makeup i think this one is good for you it's it's just gorgeous also has a huge mirror it's just so so pretty this one is gingerbread extra spicy so if you want to see the two ones compared they look like this gorgeous nonetheless <laughs> i really like this one more because it's just more wearable for me but this one is like extra, a little bit extra. Another gorgeous palette, it's called Naked Urban Decay Heat. So pretty also, but like I've said, I've seen all these colors before, so I don't really reach out for this one. I don't know why. So another gorgeous palette from Too Faced, and I think it's the last one from my collection. It's the Pretty Too Faced Rich palette, which it looks like this. It's like a diamond shaped palette with glitters. Very interesting. You need to apply glitter uh, base though, because these ones have a little bit of fallout. But they're pretty. I've used it a couple of times, even though they're like creamy glitters. I would recommend you to use a base. I don't know if this is still available, but it's very pretty and I just love it. I just realized I don't know where my Pat McGrath makeup palette is and I'm a little bit freaking out. Not gonna lie to you, I don't know where it is or what happened to it. So. Another palette which I wanted a lot and I can't toss is the Urban Decay Moon Dust because it has all of these duochrome shadows and they're creamy like glittery based but they're just gorgeous on the eyes you look like a princess so I think they should have added like two more shades because the, the palette is bigger and the size of the pen as you can see it's super small so i think they should have added two more shades because they had the space obviously but yeah it's just my opinion next i've got a natasha denona one it's so pretty but as you can see they're the same colors which i use all the time beach cosmetics this one is a old one uh, next I've got some drugstore ones, Gabriela Salvete, Wet n Wild, Miss Cop, which I don't really reach out to. And another classic and gorgeous one is this Lorac Mega Pro, which I really wanted because of these purple shadows. I love this indigo shade right here. It's like a black with purple 
glitter but as I analyze it right now I can see they should have added some other colors to it because these are just like almost the same family colors so yeah but I still love it though next I've got some Anastasia palettes which if you don't know I was a huge huge fan I mean I'm, I still am I just don't buy a lot of products anymore so here I got the brow pro palette I think this one was the first to appear maybe they just did some new changes I don't know I haven't watched the site um, as I've told you next I've got two classics from MAC. This one is the cold one, the cold palette as I call it and this one is the warmer one but they're so pretty. I've used them on my clients and on brides more often and this one is a Tarte blush palette which I haven't really used because it's just so pretty. Just look at it. So pretty. Next, other Anastasia palettes, which I kept all the boxes. I just love them. It's the soft glam. I, so I got them out of their boxes so I don't waste a lot of time. Here is Modern Renaissance. Another favorite of mine is just so pretty. But as you can see, all of these colors, I got them in other palettes like they're very similar to this to others i have shown you today maybe now you can see also for yourself this one is another favorite for me for every day or for a bride it's just gorgeous gorgeous palette next one is one of my favorite palettes ever because i haven't seen these colors anywhere else so Norvina did a really good job with this palette because the color scheme it's just gorgeous and I know not anyone can use all of these but for my complexion, for my hair, for my skin type it's so pretty, I love it. Next I've got the old ones like the smaller ones, makeup, uh, this was a collaboration with uh, Mario also haven't really used it but it's pretty next I've got the artist palette this one is really old uh, but yeah still haven't used it very much uh, the Maya Mia palette is I think this was the first ever palette uh, a company ever did with a uh, Instagrammer because back then they weren't influencers they were just Instagrammers so yeah haven't really used it but the same color scheme next oh I forgot how it's called self-made palette my mom got this um, for me it's really pretty but most of the colors are not matte like I think only these two colors are matte, the other ones are like glittery or shimmery, but still, you can use it maybe daily. <laughs> and I've got here two of the kits. Do you, does anyone remember these kits? Like, it was such a big hype with them, but I don't really use them and I don't know why they had have this film on them when I use them. So that was the Gleam kit and this one is the Dead Glow kit. This one is better. So pretty but I don't really reach out a lot to, to them. So another palette I got is this one from Pixie. Mm. It's okay-ish. Uh, a NYX one also this one is okay but i don't really reach out a lot to it other palettes from anastasia are the contour kit uh, this one is the powder one and the other one is the cream one this i really like i don't know the shade because these were like different shades but 
honestly I forgot about these and this one is the cream one which I used a little bit but not not very often because again I don't really like like a full full face of makeup I really like my makeup to stay as light as possible and I found the Pat McGrath one so I still haven't taken this foil of it because I heard they scratch very easily this one I think the most expensive part of this palette honestly it's the packaging that's why it's so expensive because it's made out of hard plastic and it's got a carved mirror I'm not going to lie it's the most luxurious palette I've got if you have seen the video from the beginning you know now that I only got it for these four shades because they're the duochrome shades they're glittery they're chameleon they're amazing like I don't think these two shades had to be put here because like it's just a basic black and brown and for how much it costs it just no it wasn't necessary like the other ones are like really pretty I can use them you don't really see these often but like these two were not necessary so yeah I don't think I would buy it again or buy another palette but yeah they're good quality and they also made in the same factory where um, some of the most luxurious brands are made so next I've got here um, under the vanity because I don't have any more space another box like this one from Ikea and here I've got the extras I've got a uh, glitter powder from the body shop it was like a special edition one um, I've got a Giorgio Armani powder which I love but it doesn't fit in my drawer and some other powders like this one from Too Faced it's pretty very pretty um, other palettes like Pupa it's just too huge to put in my drawer and I've got all of these Too Faced gorgeous um, palettes they're so pretty just look at them they're amazing also I've got here other glosses from Too Faced some Lancome lips lipstick um, what do I got here some eyeshadows these are the liquid liquid ones from Too Faced I've got all of them so pretty and your makeup lasts all day with them they're just gorgeous gorgeous and very useful if you don't want to use other products for your makeup to last those ones are amazing so do you remember this <laughs> This one is a staple one. It's the Ben Nye Banana Powder, but of course it's too yellow for me, so I don't really reach out to it because I didn't knew to buy another one. Uh, this one is from Dermacol Caviar Long Stay Makeup Corrector. Mm, I've got here some other powders, um, as you can see. Oops. Here I've got a huge glitter powder from Too Faced. This one is for this one was for a Christmas edition. Oh, I forgot about this one. This is the Maybelline Super Stay, but I think it's like a powder makeup. I don't really use it to be honest. And here I've got other powders. This is a tester from Dior. I just love this. <laughs> it's so, so pretty. 
just look at it it's gorgeous and here I've got all of the Too Faced Diamond highlighters gorgeous so stunning I love them they're so special they're very pretty very very pretty and here I've got all of my pigments yeah I've got a lot of pigments because I love pigments these ones I got from eBay I think um, these are the neon pigments these are the holographic very small glittery ones I love them and here oh I don't want to tell you they're just amazing just look at them they're all chameleon Russian type of um, pigments so a little goes a long way but I've got a few of them so I got some MAC ones um, I don't know Inglot I have a lot honestly of pigments but they're gorgeous you can't really fail with them and I've got this container from L'Oreal I think it was a gift from them and it's full full of pigments full. and here I got everything for my clients so here I've got all the lashes I'm not going to take them out but I mostly use like mink ones and I love to use these individual ones because they look better than like this ones but these are very very easy to apply I I love them also so I've got a lot of lashes from different brands I've got like a lot of sponges I also love these simple sponges here I've got some setting sprays like MAC ones um, Too Faced because I love I love this um, hangover tree in one spray it's just gorgeous I've got some toners some sprays from the body shop from Pupa I've got some thermal water from Aven I honestly I got all the skin prepping uh, products for my clients here it's also other containers from IKEA here I have got mm, a lot of stuff like only pencils lipstick which I use for them and here are all my brushes and some extra foundations which I use only on my clients so all of these brushes which are always clean I use only of my on my clients and I disinfect them all the time I also use like these type of sponges for pigments they're amazing like these small lipstick um, disposable brushes yeah I've got a lot of stuff and a lot of products like professional ones Laura Mercier um, Fenty I've got a lot of Fenty ones here here uh, I love this Marc Jacob one oh my god this is gorgeous gorgeous for for long-lasting makeup it's the best ever it's like a gel foundation but it's gorgeous uh, the body shop this is almost done I love it radiant Pupa, Sephora mm, what else yeah I've got a lot of mix I've got a lot of products right here and here I got some extra new concealers from uh, Maybelline but these are not for my skin type so that's why I keep them here they are brand new this was all of this vanity and 
let's move on to this one but I think this one is going to be shorter uh, because sorry about this it's my external hard drive uh, I don't really have a lot of products here here I got only some accessories for for me for when I'm filming and this is my broken lamp <laughs> Here I've got lipsticks, like a lot of lipsticks, but I tried to divide them on like classic lipsticks. So these are all classic lipsticks. Uh, the Body Shop, Maybelline, Pupa, Sephora. Um, what else? L'Oreal. Yeah. I've got a lot of brands, which I love. Also this one from, from uh, Chantecaille, it's gorgeous, very long lasting. And here I've got only liquid lipsticks, also from different brands. As you can see, NYX, Pupa, Note Cosmetics, yeah. Uh, yeah, I've got a lot of brands and different colors. And here I got some hair stuff for me and here are some other lipsticks uh, also liquid ones Too Faced um, this one I think I got it the second or the third time because it's so gorgeous and I love it it's the Lolita lipstick from Kat Von D I've got some NYX Bourjois uh, and Too Faced of course because I love them these melted lipsticks are amazing on the lips and the classic one from Fenty Beauty mm. I forgot about this one uh, it's from the body shop but I don't really use it and here I've got only for decor because they're just too old to use and I kind of use them some, of, some are newer like these Gerard ones from Gerard Cosmetics they're still good they're not so old but I've got some old ones which I don't use um, these one from Gerard are so pretty and um, very very good quality so here I've got mostly glosses but I don't really use them anymore and here I've got also um, other lipsticks which I don't really use because they're old I just keep them for decor but I think I will do like a video for them like destroying them or melting them or something like that so ladies this was my makeup collection I really hope you enjoyed it uh, I know it was a long video but thank you so much for sticking with me until the end I really hope you found something interesting maybe something new and if you have some suggestions what i should do with what i don't use please let me know in the comments yeah don't forget to like and subscribe this video also please 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 let me know which videos should i film next thank you so much i'll see you next time bye bye